Uh, my name is Jodia. I am the CEO of Armory. So Armory is commercializing an open source project called Spinnaker. Netflix and Google created Spinnaker to enable the world to ship software faster and more safely. So it's a continuous delivery platform used by large companies. Yeah, the use case is really businesses that are undergoing a digital transformation and trying to learn how to become software first. And in the old world, that meant creating complex software and shipping it into a data center. But the world's changing, and the way that it's changing is that these large Global 2000 corporations are trying to figure out how to leverage the cloud. Spinnaker is a platform that enables them to do that. It enables them to ship software instead of a couple times a month. They can start shipping software a couple times a day or a couple times an hour, and they can do it safely with a lot of uh, best-in-class cloud-native features like canary deployments and one-click rollbacks and blue-green deployments and things like that. I sold my last startup in 2013, and the company that acquired our startup uh, was trying to learn how to ship software more safely and with more speed. And so uh, I spent time at that last company building a CI-CD platform, a software delivery platform with my co-founders. And it was, it was a magical experience. We went from four deployments a month to 2,400 deployments a month, and it enabled us to create an entirely new line of business. And we thought to ourselves, the ability that we could uh, actually innovate through code it would just unlock so much potential for that business. Uh, so we were going to start Armory and we, uh, we talked to Netflix and they said, oh, we're just about to open source this project. And so we realized instead of us building our own platform, we could actually build a platform around this open source project. Yeah, I've been doing startups for about 20 years. This is my, uh, my, my fourth company with my co-founder, Isaac, one of my two co-founders. So it's the fourth company that we're doing together. It's the first one that we don't want to sell. We're doing 10-year founder vesting with this one. And with this one, all these Global 2000 companies are now starting to realize if we don't become software first, we're not going to thrive over the next decade. And so there's just this huge wave of innovation that's, that's, that these businesses are having to start to focus on, and they need to get really, really good at deploying software into the world to, to take advantage of that. So we saw this opportunity, which looked small at the time, three, four years ago, but it's actually massive. And I think that's really the, the magical thing about startups. So infrastructure is moving from static. You know, I was deploying into a data center for decades. Maybe I was running vSphere. Nothing really ever changed. I could build these brittle paths to production using what we would consider legacy tooling, Chef and Puppet and Ansible. I would literally script my way into my data center. What's changing is that now with the cloud, there's a lot of innovation. I mean, AWS isn't just AWS. It's EC2, it's EKS, it's ECS, it's Fargate, it's Lambda, it's whatever AWS announces at reInvent. And so if I'm a CIO of a Fortune 500 company, I'm looking at this landscape and I'm saying, I, I, I don't have a way to actually take advantage of all this innovation because I have very brittle paths into my data center. And so this fracturing of infrastructure and this kind of shifting sands and all this innovation that's happening, how do enterprises really leverage this? And so we've learned that the answer is a platform like Spinnaker. This is an open source project that allows a company to, instead of building a, a brittle path into their data center now, have a very dynamic way to get into cloud targeted. And it lowers the, the kind of difficulty of workload portability. So now I can also take a workload piece of software that I was deploying into a data center, and I can easily deploy it into EC2, for example. The other thing is cultural. There's a huge cultural shift happening. And a platform like Spinnaker creates this environment that lets the business align interests. I can write code and have it go out into the world quickly, but it's my risk is being managed in more sophisticated ways in production. Instead of my feature change nuking the entire user base when I, I introduce a bug, instead I can have a canary deployment. So it only goes out to 1% of the population. And then Spinnaker can say, oh, that actually worked well. Let's make that 2% and 4% and 8%. And it can automatically then limit the blast radius of my code change and then have it affect the entire user base. So the developer is getting what she wants to write code, and the alpha person is getting what he wants in order to make sure that there's safety. And so so Spinnaker is a modern platform that enables that sophistication. Armory has an enterprise distribution of that specifically for the Global 2000, and we're bringing that into these companies that are desperate to transform.